All right, YouTube, back at it again. So we'll wait for a few more people to present themselves here in the chat and say hello. But because I just started this, I started it a little bit early, one minute earlier, early compared to when I said I was going to go live. But and that's fine. Give people a chance to trickle on in. Get my microphone in position also so I can sound appropriate. If you will, let's put that there. I need a couple other things set up as well. But if you're on already, say hello in the chat. So I know you're there. And yeah, we'll get we'll get started with this whole thing pretty soon. Talk a little bit, of, you know, do the introduction and stuff like that. But um, whoo, wow, my back is crushing me for some reason right now. I don't know why. It's really tight, though. <laughs> Probably because I'm old. You know, picking things up and putting things down. All right? Doesn't work out for me all the time anymore. Let's see here. Let's close this. Open that. Close this. Open that. But hello to you who had just joined. I see that uh, we've got one person trickle in, so thank you very much. I see two people in the... I guess viewing area watching this live so that's cool too don't be shy so hello hello in the chat let me know that you are hanging out with us this afternoon but uh yeah michael good afternoon good evening to you my friend how are you let's see fix that how does the lighting look on my a cam let's switch over to the a cam how's that how does that look I feel like I need to turn more lights on in here. Okay, let's do that one there. But, uh, American flag in the background <laughs> next to my SpongeBob cup. But, um, yeah, I want to do something different with that video. Hey, Maggie, what you doing? <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. See you later. Okay, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I do hope you're not motivated by my mentioning your choice of music in the comments. Um, to be honest with you, yes and no. <laughs> I knew that I was putting together a video last night and just for the sake of getting it out. But then when I went back and looked at some of the other videos that I've done for the team in the past before, um, the, quality, the, qu the production quality was much better the last one I did and I feel like I went backwards. And my standards are pretty high, you know, and when I, you know, when I just grab the music from one thing to, and just slap it on to the same thing just for the sake of getting it out there, that's not me, you know, and I want to do something, you know, better for the team. And so um, not quite so motivated by the comment, it, it helped, you know, it helped, you helped me remind me of my high standards. And it wasn't a bad comment. It was in, when you said it was interesting. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it over again. And it wasn't, it was, I mean, I've been thinking about doing it over again, but it was kind of like the, you know, I, I feel I need to, you know, I, to maintain my, my own personal standard and not think I didn't do a good job. Cause I know that I didn't do, you know, what, uh, what, what's important to me. And that's why I'm, that's really why I'm doing that. But thank you for saying so, Michael. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate it greatly. But let's get into it. Let's, uh, because what am I talking about? For one, on the other videos that I've done for the rugby team, I've, I had specific music when the team was scoring, you know, and I guess I didn't really take into consideration what other viewers of the, of the video were looking at also, because I was just thinking, ah, oh, coach just wants it for his team, you know, looks okay as a composition of you and the room. It's a nice evening editing look, Jason. I'm frightened to say anything now. <laughs> you might get a team of builders in to redesign the room, brother. Everything is a work in progress, right? I mean, what, and I take if feedback is a gift. That's how I look at it, you know, and I'll either accept it or I'll return it or, you know, say thank you <laughs> and put it off to the side, you know. And so feedback is a gift. And people say things, I believe, because they care, you know. And people have different you know, and weird ways, oddball ways of showing that. Like, for example, uh, I fix Shet. Dan, 
you know, whenever he gets on, especially if I if I find boring him, he'll say yawn, right? And I'm like, huh, am I boring? You know, am I putting one person to sleep, which means I might be putting someone else to sleep also. So it's like, huh, maybe I should do something different to have a better background, <laughs> right? So it's not so boring, you know, and something that's not so cluttery, like uh, like looking at the background now, that white sewing machine is, you know, it's kind. Of, I feel like it's. It's too bright, so oops. I'm gonna do this with the machine and just put it off to the side. I was working on a project that I need to finish. Oh no, I finished the project, but okay. So that's not as blaring bright wise. So let's change this too. This light is pretty awesome. There. Whoops. Whoops. No. 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 Oh, I missed it. I like that yellow there. That warm look, you know. Please, please, please always take my feedback with a pinch of salt because I'm a British guy. I probably think I'm funnier than I am and I'm kind of blunt. It's a good thing, I promise, but beware. No worries, brother. If you didn't if you if you didn't care, you wouldn't say anything. You know? And so for sure. No, I I uh, I appreciate it. Actually, it's to make sense. I get it. I already, you already knew it wasn't up to your standards, and my comment reminded you on that. Okay, thanks. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But, <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's really that's why I'm doing this, for me, <laughs> for for my own, you know, maintaining of my my high standards because it is one of my values, my one of my personal core values to maintain the standards. You know, what I know about editing or music or frankly anything related to streaming, I could write on a postage stamp twice. And you know what? Eventually you'll learn something new or different and maybe you'll get three postage stamps, right? <laughs> so, no, for sure. Feedback is a gift and I welcome it, you know. I welcome it greatly and it's something that, you know, regardless of how it comes across, especially if someone's watching the stream, you know, and they're making negative comments, that might just be their way. You know, that's their way of caring, you know, as, as optimistic of a, you know, um, outlook that might sound, you know, when it is what it is. At least that's how I'm going to, you know, receive that comment, that gift, that feedback. So let's get into, a pre uh, let's see here, this, um, what do I call it again? The, um, the thing. <laughs> but what I want to do is this. I'm actually in my Fortnite gaming stream here like this. You're right again. That's probably another reason why I'm here. All right, right on. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I appreciate you, man. Let's do this. I'm going to copy this and put change this to Adobe Premiere Pro Editing. So what I did was I'm adding a scene, as you can see here, this right there, so that... It's effectively going to be, I mean, on my right screen, I'm working off two screens right now. On my right screen is Adobe Premiere Pro, this giant, I think it's a 32-inch monitor. And on my left screen is Prism Live, where I'm, is my live streaming software, which is, allows me to overlay this, oops, this, nope, Adobe Premiere, this one. And where'd it go? Where are you? Face cam and this. It allows me to overlay and move this thing around like so, right? And I'm I'm setting it up so that you guys can see the keystrokes, if you will. I think the keystrokes are the, are the most important piece when we're doing this type of an editing session. So you can see what I'm doing. For those that are interested in seeing that, that is. Let's move my gaming keyboard off the side. Yes, I have a gaming keyboard. It's short as you can see, because I have found that this, this mouse would always contact this and now I'm shooting when I don't want to shoot or doing something that I don't want to be doing. So we're going to put this up on top of the computer there. Move the cable around and, and I'm, a, I'm a weird dude, you know. I mean, if it, if it makes sense, I'm going to get it or do it, you know, because that's just how I, that's how I am. <laughs> Dusty, good evening, good evening. Thank you for joining. Ray the Gamer, good evening to you as well. Thank you for joining and listening in. We are doing an editing session of this video. I edited it last night. In fact, what, I'm, what am I looking at here? I don't see the music. Did I not save it? 
the project from last night interesting so koala good evening to you as well thanks for joining i'll go ahead and click on that uh, video link that you whoops that you posted just now and i'm going to play that in the background for you i don't mind doing that at all since you posted it in fact if anybody would like to share a recent video or share their link or share or, you know share something that's you know you think we'd all like then feel free to post a link in the chat hello ray the gamer how are you this evening? What game are you playing the, tonight? I will be playing some Fortnite later on for those of you that want to play some Fortnite with me. Let's do it. But let's edit this video first. And I do have a high standard of how I want things to do. Now, what's crazy is that my project... Okay, here. Sequences. Where? And not here. Okay. So typically what I'll do is... This should have... I guess it didn't save... The, some of the edits that I made last night. I wonder what happened to it. Hmm. This is the video from yesterday. Let's see if I made another, if there is another version someplace. Let's see, open project. Not how I wanted to start the live stream. <laughs> Let's see, 23.11.05 and this. Let's just look at this one. No, this is this is the video. I guess I didn't save it. I failed to save the work that I did last night after I rendered it. So, point is, I guess it's good because it, it's allowing me to start from scratch, so to speak. Um, but let's go ahead and make it happen, shall we? And thank you very much for all li for for listening in. And joining me on this new adventure, this adventure in editing this drone footage. So yesterday I left off effectively with all of this stuff. It's throwing me off because I can't, I can't actually start off from where I left off or start from where I left off last night. I've got to rebuild, but that's okay. Because sometimes it's good to start with a clean slate, right? Beginning of the drawing board, as they say, right? <laughs> So, where do I want to start? I've got the footage all clean all clean, all cleaned up how I wanted it. You know, big pieces. Do I want to start go with music first? And the music selection because or start adding in some overlays. I think I want to do that. Let's pull that uh, let's pull that project up. So, this is this here on the left is from the 2023, here, let's do this here, mouse pointer. So I've got a mouse highlight app that I got here. We'll put this off to the side over there. And then I'm also going to open up my Epic Pen. No, oh, not Epic, not that. <laughs> my Epic Pen, which is another app that I got so that I can do stuff like draw on... Where are you, Epic Pen? There you are. Wow, it's teeny tiny. Oh, that's because it's undo over here. Good tool. I'll leave this off to the side where it's not too much of a distraction. But, for example, I could take a pink pen and do like this and circle that. And then I'd have to click delete to delete that. So, good tool. A good tool to do these types of things. And that's actually why I got the whole this mouse pointer, mouse highlighter. So you can see what I am referring to when I'm talking to it. In fact, let's do this also. Let's see. I kind of want to center this keyboard up. So go back to pointer. Delete the things that I did. Delete. Delete. Undo. Delete. And pointer. Okay. So I am going to move my mouse and keyboard camera. And background off to the side. Oops, that's not all. I didn't want to do all of it. Just that and that. No, oh, not that. Um, color source one, mouse and keyboard. These two items and move it over to the side here like so. That way you can see the keystrokes that I make as I edit it. All right, so I want to know where they scored because I play a specific song right before I start playing a specific song right before they score 
and at a particular note in that song, in that track, is when they actually, you know, get the try, when they put, when they get a touchdown, <laughs> right? So let's identify it. Now the score was 51 to 4, so it'll be a little bit of a long process, you know, to find the, the, all the scores. Now I do know that, and I, this is what I should have done at the game, and that I saw your comment also, Dusty, earlier about getting the game audio, and I am going to do that. In fact, next time we, we record a game, I'm going to record it with an iPad so we get a ground cam, which is going to be recording the sounds from the field, which will be really cool, I think, too. But let's do this. We're going to find where they scored, all the scores that they made. And I know that they scored early on, so there's one. So here, this guy right up here in the corner, he's going in for a try. So as opposed to just crossing the line, he's going to touch it down there right in the middle so when he does his extra point to kick he'll be kicking from where the ball landed behind the end in the end zone there so let's see here he gets the try oh, fast forward l i went too far back in the timeline Hanging with JD. Good evening. Good afternoon. What time is it right now? 6.45 right now. Yeah, I am re-editing this video because I want to actually put synchronize. I, w I want to chapter it where they scored so that the team could see, hey, this is where we scored kind of thing as opposed to just, that was cool. My son, that's my son right here, number nine. And he's about to score here. And so right when he gets the touchdown, when he gets the point, right there all right whoa i thought it was, it was supposed to pause so let's rewind it just a little bit there boom that's where i'm going to mark the video so the clip is already highlighted here i'll press m right and this green marker basically will be no i don't want it up there i want the marker in the video clip itself so we'll try that again m so now it places it so undo undo We'll click on the clip itself and M. That's where I want it to be. You know, you're overlaying different music over the top of the rugby game. Uh, yes and no. So basically, for example, this particular point in the game where they score the try. For example, in the other project here, sequences, for example, let's open that up. So this is the old game. This here. I think these are all the times that they scored. What? Mind your speakers, real quick. Let's see here, because I just got a blip, because the it's the songs are overpowered, if you will. So let's do this. Let's mute it so you can't really hear that. But I need to hear it. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna mute my microphone. I'm curious if I mute the microphone right now. Can you hear the audio? Now, turn your speakers down real quick, guys, because <laughs> it's going to get really loud. I'll give you about 10 seconds to do that. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Consider yourself warned. It's going to get really loud because I've got it really loud on my end, I think. But we were just finished until something better came along.
Thank you very much, Michael. <laughs> Let's see. What I was talking about was this particular track. Where was I here? This particular track here, it reflects negative three. And the ideal decibel range should be between negative 12 and negative 20. But YouTube does that for you versus me doing it. Because I've tried to do it, and then it, they, it made it even lower. So I stopped doing it knowing that they do it for me and you know they they normalize it to be to be what it is so if you look at the other videos that I've made it doesn't sound loud you know but when we're playing it now it sounds loud and it looks loud because as you can see here you only make it I mean that's negative one negative two negative three negative two that it peaks at that's a that's loud you know but when it goes into YouTube, it normalizes it to be a good volume at negative 12. Because if I were to make this, for example, um, if I type G, it gives me this adjust gain by zero, or I could set the gain to, for example, negative 12. Right here. Negative 12, right? Okay. Feel like you could never so there. Do this Change it right there. This Lance so created a video on how to do it this way here also. Uh, I do same thing you do, Jason. Make it louder in the editor so it is normal on YouTube. Yes. Because I've tried to normalize it here, and YouTube normalizes it even more and makes it quiet. I mean, I've had my coworkers at work you know, tell me, hey, I can't hear it. You know, I'm like, weird. So I'm like, all right, let me just... And I did the experiments to try to figure it out. And for whatever reason, I have to do it this way. So that's why I make it super loud in the editor and so we're going to continue doing it that way and the point is though with respect to this song here All right, so maybe I need to. All right, so it wasn't exactly lined up. It was off to the side a little bit. I'm like, it didn't jot. It didn't sync. So. In other words, so that bass is when he touches it down. That's that's the that's the uh, idea. So let's fast forward and then tear it down as soon as we wake up. Get a different angle of it. Already, oh, there's a ball right there. So I'm actually going to Where's the ref at? There. So there is where they score another point. Because what's important about that also is like just like in this previous video, right? We're gonna get all these graphics here like this. Copy and bring it back over here. And let's do that. Let's change the. So you see that it says DJI underscore 2024, right? We're going to change the sequence name to be draft one. And I changed it here in the sequences section. Then I'll change it. Then it will change there. So enter. And I'm actually in the wrong one. <laughs> Um, I am in the wrong. Would you say, JD? We can't hear you talk when the music is going. Ah, check. Okay. Um, noted. I'll figure something out when. I, maybe I just won't talk when <laughs> the music is playing. We'll figure it out. Thank you for letting me know that, though, because the music is too loud. Um, are you able to record the live game audio somehow? Yes, absolutely. In fact, 
my DJI wireless microphones, I can record directly on that. How long can I record for? I'm not sure. I'm sure I could record a lot. I mean, it's got, I forgot what the memory size on it is. And I never, I've never tried to see how long it would record for. I could very well just be limited to battery life of that unit. What am I talking about? The DJI wireless microphones. And so I could like attach this to the coach so it might be really loud or just have it off to the side someplace, you know, and just record directly on the unit itself. Now, what I could do is put the wireless, um, the receiver onto another camera. So it records basically a ground cam and the audio from, from that. So, um, a couple different ideas. I went ways for sure. I like, I like that idea, game audio, and then have the music in the background. And that way you could hear the team cursing and, you know, shut the fuck. Shut the flip up. <laughs> Quit flipping doing that. <laughs> it also means that your mic got turned down a bit again. It is a little. Oh, really? Th this microphone here is low. It's Gain is up. Now. To show you what I'm looking at here. Prism Live. Let's go to. Mike Yeti. So it does look like it's peaking here at, at 11. Test, test. Mike Yeti. I don't know what, why this says zero decibels here, but I see the sound bar coming all the way across here. And I guess this is peaking with this, but your aerial work is really nice, and that's not easy to keep the cam on focus. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that the camera keeps on. You know, the the drone itself is able to maintain focus for me. The key is, you know, I've not done that type of work where I'm constantly following and the controls and zooming in and zooming out. And I thought, okay, zoom in during the scrum, and then I know they're gonna pass, so be prepared to just zoom out, recenter where the ball is off to the side, and then zoom back in for the play action. Learn that over time. And the last game that I did was in the fall, so I've been out of practice. Not that that's an excuse, but once again, if I'm going to do more of these, right, particularly for, and you know what, I like creating high quality content. That's the goal anyway, right? And I mean, because I, I do enjoy the video editing process and um, always wanting to do better. So sorry, I think the mic issue may have been on my end and I changed my stereo setting. Okay, check, roger that. <laughs> Now, now you know, <laughs> right? Let's see. All right, so let's do this. Let's go back to here. And I could actually trim some of this out also once they store here. Because I fly back into position. And the other thing is where But let's do this and I forgot how scoring goes see I haven't played I haven't seen the game in so long all right how many points is a try in rugby five points okay and then how many points is a is the kick in rugby two points are scored when the kicking of the points after the touchdown like American gridiron the ball is on a kicking tee and put through the goal posts for two extra points. So a try and conversion kick is a total of seven points, just like football. All right, there you go. Cool. <laughs> I forgot how many points stuff was, right? So let's do this. This goes here. Let's go to the home. Lock that, lock that. Control V to paste. I put a bunch of graphics up. Home. What graphics did I put up there? So the HSC versus VCU. And this entire sequence here is really long. All right. They don't need to see all of that stuff. I think the only one I'm going to keep, and this is what I said last night, where we go from here. Back it up some. So the middle of the tower, this water tower here, is at the about the one third mark of the frame. Rule of thirds, right? We're using rule of thirds. M. Via Moore's Life of Logs. Good evening. Thank you for joining. 
I am editing videos, so you're just in time to either laugh at my process, uh, make commentary, helpful suggestions, of course, as well, however you see fit. <laughs> but using what rule of thirds, I'm going to start the center here. So we're going to cut Control-K, and then we're going to get rid of everything prior to that. In fact, let's do this. So this is my first sequence. Everything is laid out. I'm going to actually edit another sequence. So this is, we're going to call this one. Am I in the right one? I am in the wrong one. I want to go to, not that one. I want to go to the project, this project. So this is the, what is it? I forgot what this window is called, this panel. But why do I have double footages? Oh, it pulled the footage over from the other panel. All right, so sequences. All right, let's do this. We're going to we're going to expand this. This is footage. And this sequence is goes here. And we're going to call this 20240406 actually 1. Nope. Home dash string out string out meaning everything is just laid out right and then we're gonna in case there's something in that I want to bring back in right so duplicate that sequence which this will be number two and this will be draft whoops draft one or we'll call it draft two and then this is what we're gonna start to chop up all right, so control or shift, and I'll capture all of this like this up to that point there. Q to delete, and then let's see, we're going to lock that and Q. Home, so like this VHS versus VCU. That goes over there, first half. So I think I want to make this entire sequence a lot faster. So let's see what a double speed looks like. So when I right click, I can do speed duration and we'll go to 200% two times speed. So it took it down to 10 seconds, which is still a little long for that entire, for that one clip. So that's there. And so we want to make that move over a little bit faster also. I know this is the, the, um, getting way too detailed with it but that's how I do it you know <laughs> in and this it's thinking now and what I think I also want to do let's see I don't want it that large either this graphic we're gonna change this around a little bit I want this to start here. Basically moving things over. But yeah, we're just we're just editing some video here and um showing you my process, the thought process. And feel free to Nope, not yet, not there. Let's move it over some more. I kind of want it to I want this piece to start when HSC is a little higher so and like right there so this goes here like that let's see how it looks So that fades in. All right. And then we'll move this one over here. Like so. Got to go do a thing, Jason. See you soon. Have a great week, sir. You as well. You as well. You, did you get did you get Fortnite downloaded? <laughs>
if not, I get it, not, it. It takes time. I know that. I know that for sure. But yeah, have a great week as well. If I don't see you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, I'm gonna try to do some type of a stream on a daily basis. Time of the day it will be random, so stand by. <laughs> but maybe I'll see you again later on. Michael, have a great evening. See you, man. All right, let's see. So this comes in, and this is pretty long already for 10 second intro. Yeah. But if I play it to music, I can just chop it in, right? Why don't we try that? So what song do we want to play with that? And let's see. Let's try to do what song? Where did it go? Since you mentioned it, yes, I have it downloaded on my PC. Did it last night. Awesome. Remember, my uh, my gamer name is Cy Ravel. S A I R A V A L. If if capitalization matters, S A I R A V A L. Yeah, hanging with JD plays also. We've, we've been playing a couple of games uh, on, the, on the Fortnite. But um, I only got one game in yesterday. I think it was um, and like after. I think it was right before I went live with my video editing. I, I just, I really wanted to play, <laughs> but I was still tired from the uh, day and I got the win. <laughs> I got the win. I got, it was lucky. I probably should have died in the storm because I, it was a 10 tick and I was, I had 28, it dropped or had 18. It dropped me down to eight and I had, I had won. <laughs> How? <laughs> I shot the dude to death. You right? <laughs> I actually put it on the, on that channel. But here's my uh, what do you call it? Here is my gamer name on Fortnite. You can find me when you get it, uh, when you get set up and add me as a friend on there. All right, let's do this. Let's find a song to for the intro song. So let's see. What? Let's let's get let's do, do something new. Let's do a new song. So we're gonna go to Epidemic Sound and. Epidemic Sound is the music service that subscription that I pay for. So basically, I've got all these songs and sound effects at my disposal. To, well, they changed it out a little bit. Um, they changed all this stuff, so it's all tile looking now. Um, so, what songs do we want to do? Moods, themes, workout and wellness. Sure, let's try that. High intensity training. Mental health, cool down, yoga, pilates, sleep, dance, workout, uplifting, warm up. There we go. All right. And I want, do I want something with explicit lyrics? No. Uh, replica. When there's a speaker here, that means there's going to be vocals. I can actually download this if I like the beat and the song without vocals by doing this all stems full mix all stems melody instruments bass drums bass <laughs> bass <laughs> all right let's see here royals let's see what this sounds like hmm. this is cool i like it I'm going to use it. Let's see here. Full mix. Sure. So whenever I download a song, I actually download it to a local folder. So all the songs are in one place. It's not for a specific song. Because if I want to use that song again or a sound effect again, I can. So open up the folder, as you can see here. And what I'll do is, let's see here. Um, where are you? There, so there's a song, ES Royals Cushy, in my D drive, Epidemic Sound Downloads. This is where I have all the songs that I've used. So I'm just going to drag and drop it over here. And now that song is there, ES Cushy. It's, it's done by date created, as in the date that I downloaded it. And I can delete it here in that drive because it's not, uh, they don't sync up where it's like I could drag it over. Um, and disappears here. It's a, it made a copy, so it's got a copy local in there. Yeah, so I made my own sound effects here. 
<laughs> only three and these are sound effects that I've downloaded also in the event that I want to use it again it's all here so now that I've got it in the folder that I want it in which is the epidemic sounds downloads folder I can then bring it back over to and drag it and drop it over into Adobe Premiere Pro so as you see here I did create another folder now what if I were to I don't like that it gave me all these extra bins so let's do this we're gonna save everything save and we're gonna we're gonna try to close this project um, but first before we do that VCU 2 better came along copy and this must be the audio for this video there so now we're going to close this project file close project and so this did it get rid of everything I'm gonna I'm gonna close everything again because I don't I don't like seeing all this duplicate fo these duplicate folders so close project and then open project and I don't know if that's just uh, if it all right see it's got double footages I don't know why that's doing that let's close the program and just start it out and see what happens all right premiere it's clutter that I don't want to see that's that's really what it comes down to <laughs> if I got to look at it I got to look at it where'd it go there and okay Yeah, it's stuck there for whatever reason. That's fine. Um, okay, so in the interest of staying organized and not being confused, we'll just call this the um, 2023 game. Bin for that, and we can put this. Over there. Audio this goes in there and then let's see photos there's nothing there all right so and we'll put this down in the bottom by typing in Z tab enter so when I reorganize it it puts it at the very bottom so I'm not looking at it and being distracted by what is this here PNG I'm gonna need that at some point also and that's probably because I am using it th there in this picture here that's why that is existing if you will all right so where did that song go this song the Royal song I'll just grab and drop it into my audio folder audio bin and now it's inside there and then I can drag and bring it over here it's gonna be loud so mind your speakers but before we do that I'm going to actually go to essential sound and music and we're gonna call this balanced background music alright mind your speakers if you're listening it might get loud so as you can see, it normalized it to negative 18 as background music. If I did not do that, now mind your speakers. See how it's all peaked up up top there? So in the interest of just doing this for now, we're going to keep it at balance. Can you hear me still over the music? I'm going to turn it up when I render it for real, so i got to remember to do that. How am I going to remember to do that? I'm going to write it down. <laughs>
So, Roger that. Now, I'm going to try something here. It seems kind of slow now that I'm listening to it anymore. So you know, do you hear that tapping that I'm doing right now? I'm listening to the song at a specific beat. I'm going like every second, um, every eighth beat, if you will. So not one, two, three, four. That would be, a, I guess, um, I, I, I don't know what the term is called, but every like eighth beat, I think, is where I'm tapping it. Like there's a strong bass hit, hard hitting sound. That's where I'm putting a marker because that might be a point where I do a transition to another clip or cut it there and then zoom it in. You'll see what I'll do here in a second. But So right there I should have hit a beat, but I missed it. So it's a little bit longer between each point. So for example, this is at uh, 13.48 versus 10. So every three seconds, there's a beat, which is actually a, good, a decent way to transition from you know one shot to the next shot. And it might not be completely different. It might just be a shortened version. So for example, this one here, let's put this back to 100% from 200. I might go... Oops, it, I started marking up top here and I don't want to do that. So undo, I want to mark the audio. And it, it's just, it's too low for me also. But missed it again. It's a little bit tedious, but this is, this is something that, yes, there is an AI program out there. I think it's called Beats, where it will put all these in for me at the exact point where if you look closely here, for example... these where's the beat actually hitting you know so let watch this is like a, a sound bar of where the beats are the how the song how the song goes sorry listen So, like that. So, for example, then, if I want to do this, I might do a transition right there. So, cut, like, for example, then go to three seconds forward, delete, bring this back down, Q, Q. All right, so I'm just going to select and bring it over manually. And then cut it there again. And then cut it here. So it's a little bit of a fast for forward. This is just a technique that I thought looks cool. And then we're going to bring this back down to here. And then, let's see. We'll do this. Let's see what this looks like. Mm. 
so at that one here where it got it kind of got loud on that beat that's when we go to the game because this is kind of cool here maybe I can you know, make this a little bit faster this entire sequence because I'm not doing any transitions because this is kind of neat this entire pan so I go from three separate clips right the intro HSC versus VCU I can even do it pans out there I should probably do a transition here to here for example but now we're doing fast movement of the of the shot but I like this shot this entire thing because it goes from me looking at the at that tower at the field and so that almost transitions really nicely to that but it's short so I've got a couple options one is to let's see one idea is to go what if I were to just chop that up also like I have been so here all right and then because it's not exact I'll bring this back over so it ends there but bring this and shorten it that way so let's see what, how that looks bring this back in here So this point here is where we need to get through the game. So I want to cut it there and I'm I'm eyeballing where I wanted to cut it cuz That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. And so cut and then now we get into the game itself here because I think this sequence I actually bring it in and, and land the drone I change out the battery so Q and bring it back in here Boring, boring, boring. That's the ref that's running out there. He's talking, 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 talking. <laughs> Get the ball already, dude. <laughs> okay, so at that point, that's where I think that I want the that he contacts the ball there. So let's make a mark of that on the clip, and that's where I want it to be. So we're gonna cut it actually. Cut paste or delete move this over to here and if you notice when I'm filming and I th th I'm trying to have very slow, very little movement. I think it looks a little bit better as opposed to just the stationary drone filming the game. And although I do say get stationary at some points, but this little bit of drift that 
you're experiencing keeps it from looking so boring. <laughs> That's funny. The first play, it's like, what the heck is going on here? You know. But I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm going to try not to cut out too much of the gameplay. But what I would want to do is. What if I were to expand this out here like that and cross dissolve this in? Now, this cuts in here though, because they're about to score, and they're going to change the song. So, because I'm getting rid of that, interesting. So they go from there to there, and they and then they score. Let's turn this down just a little bit. Also, so. Uh, What gain is this at? Gain is at negative 16.3. We'll make this negative 16.3 also, and then we'll normalize everything later too. Escape G, escape, oh, I was not pressing escape. G, negative 16.3. Nope, I want to set gain, not adjust gain by, because then if I put a value here, it adds to the existing value. So it's adjusting it by, versus me setting it to negative Clicking it there, negative 16.3. Tab, OK, Enter. All right. So what I want to do, though, is did you hear that abrupt change in music? All right, it's like there's no, there's no flow. So to transition that over, I need to make it a little bit louder also. So let's do this. Both are highlighted. Press G to set the gain to negative 12. Mind your speakers, it might be a little louder. All right, so instead of it just being an ab abrupt cut, I'm going to mix them. How am I going to do that? Um, I don't know how to do it any other way other than apply default transition, press control, puts a plus sign about. I'm going to put one here, here, and then here at the end. And I'm going to take this section and bring it down. To there, and then eventually it goes down all the way. So. Um, too soon. Let's bring this out a little bit more. Let's let's actually cut this out on a on a beat. Where'd all the markers go? There it is. So let's do this. Undo, 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 undo. Okay, now we'll bring it over. Cut. But we'll fade it out on the beat, maybe. Let's try something here. Control. Nope, I need the V pointer. Control for this here so it's easier to find do and do control there and then control puts another plus sign there and we're just going to do this so it, it blends it a little bit better I think it does anyway doing it that way control we're gonna let's see if we could do it sooner even Um, what about if we do it later? No, I want, I want it, I want it right on the, right on the mark. Enter that there.
собой. Now, what's neat about that is because I've got this entire graphic up here like this and let's see how am I gonna what is this here first half I can actually do like this now I'm just going to move this over here put this over here like that because it's the score so we're going to get rid of that cross dissolve. Q. Five points there. It'll stay five points up until this point here where we score another two points. So fast forward it. Trimming, cutting throughout the entire Thank you very much for watching and enjoying this entire time. <laughs> Vinko Edit, thank you for joining. I just noticed that you uh, jumped in. Good to see you there, my friend. Awesome. Thank you very much for uh, liking and sharing. Are you, when's the last video that you edited? Alright, so let's see what they score. I don't think I really changed the music in this one. <laughs> so now you need to find another song to coincide with, I guess, or, or to, to fade into, I guess, this next play. And so when do I want to do that? Let's do this. So he kicks the ball. Boom. That's a neat little um, point of maybe a bass hit if you will, bass there. Maybe I transition to a new song there because it fades out anyhow. So what song should we pick next? I have a plethora of songs. <laughs> They're gonna be like, what does your dad listen to? You can never sleep in traffic. Cause living steady panic. No. This is supposed to be exercise music? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not ready for the one. Energy's war, I've never been glam. Energy sure like bars will land. No. Pop. So I didn't feel a single yeah, no. thing. <laughs> Tamarindo. Dexter and the Disky, please. I downloaded this song once before with the blue arrow there. <laughs> right? Maybe. No. I swear this is probably the longest part of making a video music selection, right? That's why I asked about the live game audio. It's so hard to mesh music to events like that. Yes, exactly. And it's better to hear live game audio for sure. So agree 100%. And yeah, you know what we'll do? I can. I mean, I could I could record the video from where I'm standing or the audio from where I'm standing just with the boom mic, you know, or that giant microphone. It records the background and you know, just add that in there. You'll you'll hear the team yelling and cursing. <laughs> and the coach yelling at him, right, you know. The why not? Oh, you like this one? <laughs> Alright. I 
think I've got that already in there, so I don't have to download it again. And let's find it. So go back to my epidemic sound downloads, and that's the nice thing about doing it. Yeah, JD. <laughs> In fact, if you do a lot of editing of video and need music selections and stuff like that, I do have a, uh, what do you call it? I think in the description, I put my Epidemic Sound affiliate link. Where clicking on that it takes you directly to my, I guess, affiliate link for Epidemic Sound. I like it a lot. I'm going to redo it again next year. In fact, I think I already automatically redo it. some more music selection things we're not gonna well i'm probably gonna use a lot of the other songs that i've used in the past also before because it's easy Ooh, that just popped in there huh we need to blend it in like this and i think up to this point there so like that, like this. I'm trying to get that down to zero, zero, zero point zero. Good enough. So we're going to fade this in easier. Put another point here. Oh, interesting. This is still playing, really. All right. What is playing, though? All right. The preview of that song is still playing in the browser. All right. Refresh. Oh, this is warm-up song. That's why we're in warm-up music. Okay, uplifting workout. That's what we need. That's where we need to be. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. JD, how lo how loud is it on your end? Like, just do a test real quick. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I'm saying a bunch of stuff. Can you hear me? No, it's done now. That was old chat. Okay, check. Um, all right. In that case, let's continue on. Let's see how it sounds. So now I just need to find when our team scores again next. Or when the, when the other team scores. It's not super loud, but hard to hear. Check. And so what we'll do is I'll try to make the the sound lower on that. Because it's I think what's happening is it's picking up here. In fact, let's see here. 
there are these symbols here um, on this microphone. Let me do this here. A cam. The pattern. And that's the pattern of what's being picked up. So I think it's picking it up front and back when it's th like that. Now there's a front and back setting also. So what I think I want, what is the best one for one way? So it doesn't pick up what's behind it. Let's look and see. Um, Blue Yeti. Blue Yeti microphone. I think they're called toroidal patterns. All right, polar patterns are like the microphone's ears set to set the, okay. Okay, I wanna know what the pictures mean. I don't wanna read things. <laughs> so, cardioid pattern, cardioid. Think of them as a microphone's love mode as it's only ears, ears for what's right in front of it, like a rounded heart focusing on its beloved. Selfie stick for microphones. It only cares about you. That's picking up sound mainly from the front. Okay, so that's what we want to do. This is where we want to be. I've been doing it all wrong. So if you're singing, narrating a podcast, or even giving a solo kazoo performance, this is your go-to setting. The setting acts like those horse blinders. It won't, won't pay attention to noises on the side or the back. So you can put on your fan or keyboard behind the music to not let the voices slide into the recording. It's like having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with your mic. Okay, cool. What's this one? Figure of eight dance. Imagine you're Batman and the person opposite you is Robin. In bidirectional mode, the mic acts like it has ears on both sides of its head. Okay, check. Omnidirectional, everywhere, social butterfly mode, and stereo pattern. The stereo mood tries to mimic that. Okay, left and right. So... I've been doing it all wrong. All right, so how much gain goes with each pattern? Oh, interesting. Let's see. Cardioid, medium to low. Why? You're the star of the show here. You won't need to amplify any distracting background noise. Do we? Pattern and game mix. Keep that mic focused on you with the cardioid setting and don't crank the gain too high. About halfway or a smidgen lower should do it. What was the one I was doing again? Am I cardioid? Yeah, this one. All right, so. Cardioid, medium to low. You're the star of the show. Let's see. Halfway or smidgen lower should do it. So the way I'm speaking right now, how does it sound? And I'm gonna go ahead and decrease the gain to halfway point. So in other words, to show you what I'm doing, it's neat because you can actually see this. I'm going to put that mark on the halfway mark here. So turning, 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 turning. Can you tell the difference in the sound where I go halfway? All right, so we are now halfway with the gain and halfway with the gain. And this is supposed to be the proper gain setting for the cardioid pattern, which means that apparently I am the star of the show here. You don't need to amplify the sounds on the sides I didn't realize that I thought I was on the right one <laughs> so we're gonna give that a shot and just talk through it and we can also do a test to show the different maybe that's another video that we do where I do a demonstration of the various um, patterns and what they sound like and what's the ideal setting to use so clearly I had it on the stereo mode which I was doing wrong so it was picking up stuff left and right which that's kind of going this way right and me in front of it so sounded better turned up okay so I now have it turned up all the way JD thank you very much for letting me know good so I'm gonna keep it's not super loud but it sounded better turned up so we are maintaining this particular setting like this right now we're just gonna keep it on high all right, let's continue on with the edit. Let's see, and oh, let's see how it how it sounds. So I'm gonna turn on a song, and I'm gonna try to keep talking so you could hear me do things. 
Okay, let's see. Let's do this one. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so this is a relatively louder song. The other one, the slam dunk one, was really yeah, yeah. low. Right. I'm talking now, uh, maintaining the gain at high, and you might have hear a difference? What do you think? You hear a difference between my talking and the background music. I should be louder than the background music now, now that I'm no longer in stereo because it's picking up my voice and the speaker sounds equal distance. put a pause on that and then continue on with the... Alright, so the music is louder than you are. Really? Maybe, what if I were to talk like this and turn it around? Maybe this is the way I should be speaking. Maybe I was doing it wrong, where as in, this is the, this is the back and this is the front. Like, this is the back and this is the front. So, I should be speaking into it like this. Let's see. So, <laughs> which is the front? That's the question. I'm doing it... I've been, I've been talking to this thing all wrong. Let's see here. So, um, I wonder, uh, let's see, two custom mic capsules, compact aesthetic footprint. Where is the front of the Blue Yeti? Uh, polar patterns, polar pattern selector, mute button, Headphone, the stand, explaining patterns in detail. So in other words, how should I be holding this thing? Or That's the question. All right, which is, <laughs> which is the, let's see, which, oops. Which is the front of the Blue Yeti mic? Yeti X is a side address microphone. All right, which means that you should speak it to the front of the mic, the side with the blue logo. I don't have the Yeti X. Which way do you talk to a Blue Yeti? Best mic placement. What pattern is on a Blue Yeti? No. How do you put a blue, no? Where should I put my Blue Yeti? Is your Blue Yeti microphone? Blue has a front and back to it. That means you could really screw up your audio if you speak into the back of the microphone. Yeah, so which is the back? <laughs> All right, let's, what if, you know what? Um, blue Yeti mic instructions this is oddball one right <laughs> yeti manual microphones yeah that's the one i think i want to look at here okay 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 i'm looking for a picture to show the front or which side i should be speaking to so without i all i did was change the position how does my sound sound now how now, brown cow? <laughs> Let's see. This, that, uh, Yeti. Stereo, recording at a glance. Stereocardioid, omnidirectional. Okay. Position. That's the microphone volume, the, the headphone volume, this thing here. Oy vey. <laughs> Where do you... So looking at this picture, I should be speaking into the Blue Yeti side of the microphone. Unless this is the front, so when you're on camera, you can see the Blue Yeti symbol so and such. It seems like your mic is quieter now. Okay, so I should be speaking into it like this. This is the correct way to speak into the Blue Yeti microphone. Because I've been talking into, the, I guess, the back of it, this side this side here and I sound quieter so thank you very much I've been doing it right the whole time <laughs> all right continue with the edit 
So what I want to do is find where all the scores are. Yes, there you go, louder. Okay, good. And what about the background music? It should be less, you know, I, it's not going to be... A, a My wife's going to walk in and be like, what are you listening to? So background is still loud. Ah, okay, check. I guess it was worth a try to see what the patterns are. Maybe, I mean, this was actually a gift. I would, this was uh, given to me. Um, so maybe it's just uh, not a very good microphone, which is why. <laughs> you know, and as you know, I'm always about getting, you know, and utilizing high quality equipment as well. But um, and or it could simply be operator error at the same time. I kind of just plugged it in and just started talking into it. And this is the first time that I've really, you know, um, have spoken to the microphone. If you've spoken about the microphone. <laughs> and we'll just turn the gain down, though, slightly. So minus five so that you can hear me talk. So gain will minus uh, three. Oh, gain minus two. Oh, no gain. I've been doing it set gain too. So let's set gain to minus 12. Whoops. Minus 12. All right. So it's good background, decent background music for the sake of the live stream. But when I return to, when I go to export it, I just need to remember to turn it back to the negative three so that YouTube can, can normalize it for me. And like you said, I will record some ground cam that way we've got another view you know maybe the action's right in front of me and we switch to that when the action is right in front of us <laughs> next time you know so let's move this one over here we're looking for where the other team scores because they score a couple times Two times speed, the way I did two times speed was by press L. K stops it. J is actually rewind. L is forward. Two times speed. Three times speed. But it doesn't it doesn't play through smooth, right? So we just play now. It can play normal so to speak by okay, let's do this. This gets deleted. It plays normal. So fast forward, it's, it's still smooth if I just do once. Actually, I'm gonna delete this one here and then move this cursor over out here. Through. The process, right? That's cool. That's my son. <laughs> Proud Papa, right? <laughs> oh, and so let's bring that back over here. So highlight that space, press Q, brings him over. And there's my boy. Toss. So what I should have done there, uh, cinematography-wise, was be prepared. And as opposed to centering up on the scrum, start the mo camera moving over to the side and be prepared to just zoom out because I know it's going to happen. Oh, where, where did he throw the ball? Okay, so the ball got tossed this way. 
and he hit the post. That was interesting. Yeah, I missed that shot, clearly. I'm like, I don't want to watch the game. But here I am watching the game. Boink. And let's just see where is the ball coming from. I missed it. There's the ball up here in the top left corner. Okay, so he kicked the ball. You can see the boot. He kicked it. And it looks like it ricochets off the post. Did it change direction? Yeah, it looks like it ricocheted off the post. And the other team recovers the ball. All right, so fast forward, looking to see where they score. I think they score there. Did the ref's hand go up? J. No score. Okay. Yeah, we need to put another song up here for pretty soon. All right, so pause. What I want to do real quick is I want to bring the scoreboard up to speed. So bring this all the way out to here where it says 7-0 still. Because that scoreboard, if you will, that scorecard will always be up there. But I do want to, if you will, for example, when this play occurred earlier. Nope, not that one. When he kicked the ball in the goal post. Like this action that's occurring up here, I want to get rid of the scoreboard during that play. You know? So here, control, nope, not control, no, I don't want to know. C, cut, and we'll just do a, another cut. So we'll cut it there, and then we'll leave it off until we get to here. So cut again, V, there, Q. And we'll just fade it out and fade it back in. So it'll look like this. presents itself so it should have done a what do you call it applied default transition and this one should have an applied default transition as well there where it fades back in there I think it looks smooth when I do it like that so which is why I'm doing it like that <laughs> all right cool continuing on with this edit L yeah, it's glitching a little bit. It's not that bad. Uh, 
And the ref blows the whistle here, but still no score, so they get a ch an opportunity to defend still. And then, once they are finished with it, then... Hmm. Well, I'm getting all these notifications, so that's kind of cool. I don't know what they're all about. I've got 95 notifications for something. <laughs> All right. When did they score? I'm watching the ref now as opposed and the ball. You know what, control S, just in case, because I don't know why it's all glitchy like that. It's weird. Usually it never gets glitchy like this. But it is right now. So, concerning for sure. Still 7-0. The team will score and take the lead eventually. Oh, did they score? Yeah, it looks like they scored. All right, so... Right there is when the ref... Raises his hand. Let's just confirm that. So Goal's kind of in the way, so let's do this. We're going to fade it out here just so we can see it better. Oh, he missed. So then, he did not get the extra point, which means we still have the lead. So, fade, apply default transitions, and then this is a 7-5, whoops, undo, 7-5. And I should have changed the score before I cut it because seven zero seven five here. That way I only had to change it in one spot, but that's easy to do. And change there. And then we fade it out for the kick play. Extra point. missed and then we'll fade it back in actually here apply default transition 7-5 still score remains 7-5 in the first half alright so save 
Let's see when we score next. I was double checking the uh, my position. So as you can see, I'm over the trees. So I thought I want to get closer. So just reposition myself to be over this open space here. And then we'll get back onto the game here. J. Interesting. Um, okay, so cut this out there, and then it was here when I decided to change. Check my. V there here and let's cut it there cut paste close open I guess I could be look at listening to music at the same time to start try to looking for something that I want to listen to for the video. So let's do that. Did they score here? Nope. All right. Oh, where is that? Oh, there's a dragonfly in the house. Cool. Hey, little guy, he's like a little baby dragonfly. Check it out. There's a dragonfly in my hand. I've never held a dragonfly before. Let's see. Oh, come here. It's like, don't capture me. Where is my overhead camera? So he's right here. <laughs> he's a little one. That was cool. Yeah, it's a dragonfly, a spy drone. Dude, did you see those little tiny drones that, not that size, but I think they're called dragonflies that um, Teledyne Fleer is making. They are cool. They look like baby helicopter, like like a, a tiny little helicopter. Yeah, um, they're super classified. <laughs> I got some friends that fly them. <laughs> but... The the con oh did I miss a score by chance? Let's see. Double check it, but um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Excuse me, you are live from the dragon's den. <laughs> indeed, indeed, it's cool because um, I actually thought about creating my drone channel, like Dragonfly. FPV, or something like that. But it would be it would be spelled like this. Dragon. You see it? You get it? J the J is still sounds like a J, right? The, so dragonfly. My wife's like, you're corny. 
<laughs> so it'd be dragonfly. Because I'm all about dragons. Or dragonflies. In fact, prehistoric speaking wise, prehistoric dragonflies were huge. Let's see. Quick, uh, quick, uh, let's look, a quick look here. Prehistoric dragonflies. Prehistoric dragonfly size. These dragonflies had a wingspan close to 2.5 feet. That's crazy. I mean, think of my think of a drone, right? A foot and a foot wingspan, right? <laughs> so. Oh, here, awesome animal fact. That's what I should do. I should make a a giant dragonfly drone. <laughs> All right, we got to focus on this so I can be done with it, so that I can play some Fortnite. It's eight o'clock already, so I could play some Fortnite. All right, let's see here. I'm pretty sure I did not miss a score because we went from here to here, back in. And we're gonna we're gonna actually go through this game like this. And I think that they scored a couple times while I was changing out the batteries. Apparently I can't do two things at the same time, so we'll focus on this game here. Extend this out, delete that. Do we get another breakaway? Oh, I should delete that there. Or cut it here. VQ. There's his breakaway here. Did he go out of bounds? He must have gone out of bounds. Fire breathing dragonflies would be awesome. Yeah, no kidding, right? They'd be terrifying. I think they ate meat too. As opposed to eating other bugs. They eat they ate meat. Let's see. Alright, we want to fast forward through the gameplay so we can find out where the teams make their scores and keep the scoreboard active and accurate. Scored. All right, so we're going to put this back here like that, and then it will be we'll actually we'll put it here like this, and then undo, undo, cut here, V. Click. The score is now seven ten. Ten. So, in the interest of oh, this needs to be clicked also, so that when I press up or down, it goes to the correct. It goes to the correct, um, it goes to the end of the next sequence or clip. There to there. And do they get their extra point? I'm sure that they do. 
but I wanted to I wanted to put a marker here. So this, and we're gonna make it yellow for that's their colors. So notice, let's see here. They kick it from way back there. Did they score? Was that way off? I'm always trying to move my head over. All right, so looking at that flag dude here, all right, that tells me that the score did not change. So 710. Cool. V. Pull this out here. All right. Excuse me. All right. L. Let's go a bit faster a little bit. Getting in the scrum thing. We push. We win the ball. Play. Let's see here. We can delete this. The concern is, I don't know why I put that circle there though. It's an undo. I mean, you can leave that graphic there. Q. Uh, battery change. Continuing along. We're out of bounds, I think. That's why that flag went up. Someone got hurt. Go rub some dirt on it. And then he'll be back up again. Okay, he got replaced. So let's rewind it. We're going to get rid of the scorecard here for a second also. Because it blocks a little bit of the play. So we'll cut it there. So we're going to cut it here. Q, transition, and then We'll put it back into play when we get to here. Cut. Q. Transition again. Oh, now I'm gonna keep it off here.
we're gonna bring it all the way out to there give it a scrum here and then you know what we should do we should play some background music maybe okay so he throws it into backfield kicks it Doink. He missed the ball. Couldn't get to it. So it's a throw in. And then. Did they score again here? Oh. Oh, getting close. Whoa, what happened? Why did that do that? Put me back to the beginning. Great. <laughs> Where was I? Not that, not that far. Seven zero, twelve zero. Oh, dude, you know what I've been doing? Have I been I've been editing the wrong frickin' <sighs> Close the string out. I think I just No wonder why I was just like I'm only six minutes into the game. But okay, cool. That's where I was. I switched over to the earlier sequence. The string out sequence. So we're we're back to normal again. He's mad. Yeah, I think he gets a. Yeah, he scores there. Oh, there's the dragonfly again. <laughs> oh, you guys are looking at a different monitor. I changed it up. Gameplay, or no, Adobe Premiere Pro editing. Okay, so, all right, so those of you, for those of you that are still with me, have you eaten dinner yet? And if you did, what'd you eat? What did you eat for the dinner? We're going to delete that because I don't need it. Oh, but we do need to change the score here. Boom. Oops, missed it. There. Cut. Cut. This, V, this, undo, because the score is now 7 to 15. Delete 5. And then he'll have an extra point attempt. Or no, he didn't. They didn't score. What happened over there? I wonder why they called they said no score. I'm trying to see what the ref is saying. But no extra point attempt, so no change in score there. So they're gonna scrum it up. He gets the ball there. Oh and he intercepts it and now they get the touchdown. Or the try. So this actually goes here. This will go here.
there and we'll mark on the video the yellow for a point so now it's 7 to 15 And that was a battery change. So V, nope. Put the effects controls up, position, and let's move this over to here. Okay, and I just want to make it bold. That's good enough. Battery change. This was a quick battery change anyhow. So I launched the score should still be 715. Looks like they scored there. raises his hand right over here so mark mark a yellow here and we're gonna draw this out to there cut it and make the score seven twenty I don't know if they score the extra point. So, what was the final score of the game? Instagram. Instagram. Because they put it on the Instagram. Let's see here. HSC Rugby. Fifty four to forty one. See, that's what I should have been doing, writing down the score as they played so that I knew what was what, you know. But I wasn't really I was just recording. <laughs> So I am going to make an assumption that here that they made the extra point. They made it seven seventeen at some point. Seven seventeen. Because then they score here. So now it's 7.22. And then here's the uh, ball. Let's see if he gets it. Boom. And he gets his extra point. So, mark this, mark, mark, yellow, okay, and the score now is 
plus 2, so 724. We score here. Boom. So, remember what I did with the, when we, whenever Hampton Sydney scores, we're going to play that song. So, that song, which is. this song copy paste at that particular point will be here Save this. Cut here. The score now becomes twelve twenty two. Twelve twenty-two. So I gotta center that up. So going over here to this, and I'm just moving this over ever so slightly to right there. Good. Looks good. It's coming along. And I'm pretty sure that because where we scored, we will we'll score the extra. Like a book. Sure did. There and then. Now it's a twelve or twenty fourteen to four twenty four. Fourteen twenty four. All right, cool. for the next score. Ball carrier is here. Ah, we need to delete these graphics because they don't belong. It's the wrong score. Undo. Delete. This is the right score. Oh, there's a breakaway there. Don't give up. Bring some down there at the goal line. Oh, but he crawled his way in. Somehow. Yep, that's a point. So, let's see here. 1424. Mark, mark. Yellow. Okay. Cut. There. V here and then 
15, 29. And I think we keep him at 29. I think he misses the extra point, and then we keep him at 29 for a while. He misses the extra point. Yeah, see the flag waver? Cool. All right, that's a good thing for Hampton Sydney. There at the top. Halftime should be coming up pretty soon, too. Let's move this out. Boom. Good boy running through people. Severin <laughs> said that he uh, he elbowed somebody in the face, and I think this is where he did it because the dude did something to a move on him that he was like, "What are you doing, dude?" And there, and boom. Look at that. Boom, age. So that's a mark. And let's put that song back also. Placed here to there. So in other words, delete this what is this one here oh no I don't want to delete that I want to delete this though what is this one here second half so I need the second half graphic Fourteen twenty-nine. Q or C cutting it V and then the score is now 1929. 1929. She'll save. All right, moving right along. Cut it here. Score is now. I thought I made it nineteen twenty nine. I I edited it in the wrong spot. Undo or redo. What is the time marker on that? Thirty-three fifty-one. So undo, undo. Fourteen twenty-nine. Nineteen 
Score just became here Cut this out here. What are they talking about? Come on, kick that ball already. So we're gonna cut it here or and the video as well. Undo the cut there. Because we're gonna be cutting out a bunch. Actually, I'm going to cut this out here, delete, and then probably this, and then this is 2129. What is this? I cut it in the wrong spot. That's what happened. Q, what's this, 2129? Q, what's this? Merge. Delete that. like we score again here C cut all right so yeah moving right along but we want the song again paste pause and where did that where did that point go? Was it here? Yep. 
and then marker marker close because we're overlapped we're gonna do like this like that so effectively the song kind of starts over again and we're just gonna blend it like that Let's see um, okay so control so we're going to do it like that Decrease that volume a little bit more. We were just interested until something better Save, Control S. So get the point. Score is now twenty-six to There it goes. So cut there. V to marker this here for the other point. And V will change the score to 2829. Okay. Extend this out. Fast forward the game through. We'll add the we'll, add, we'll we'll do the filler music later. It's coming along. All right, so they get the ball. Excuse me. Almost there, and that looks like a score there. Yep, to me it sure is. Okay. 
boom right there. So this gets dragged all the way out to here. Cut and V M mark that there. Paste for the song. Because that's the scoring song, <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. I know this is boring, guys. <laughs> but thank you for hanging. Let's see. Which means I need to delete all this stuff here also. Because that's the wrong cue. You haven't even. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're in the second half right now. When did we go into the second half? I don't know. But I'm going to say that it was here. And the score is 28-29. Undo.
Ooh, that is another was that another a different try there? I think I missed something. And boom. Mark, and then the song, copy, paste. This gets moved over like that. And then the score now is an additional five points, 33, 29. Looking at the shadow, that's kind of cool. You can see the shadow right here, nearly parallel. So, score changes here again. Thirty-three twenty-nine two. Boom. Thirty-five twenty-nine. The crowd was heckling the other team so bad. The other students <laughs> yeah it's pretty funny is there another score here boom right there look at that holy smokes cut there V, mark, paste, like that. And so I need to blend these two also again. I missed it. Seven twenty nine.
Elite 7. Good tackle. Severin passing the ball. Yeah, I got. I think I got better at uh, doing the zooming out and stuff like that when the ball came out from the scrum. So from here, it's like you focus in and then it pass. Oh, interception. But. Control save. Scrum here. This is pretty cool. Action, action shot there. Two zero two four zero six dash thumbnail HSC versus VCU. VCU dash B. Okay, cool. So another shot for the thumbnail. All right, moving like right along. Almost done. We're at the 52 minute mark. We're om we got about another 17 minutes of video to to scroll through. So I should have zoomed out faster. Balls up there. Oh, I forgot about this thing. Did I miss something? I feel like we scored. All right. Almost done with the game. Oh, we scored again. Awesome. I mean, I know we, the score was, what, 54 or 41 at the end of the day? And boom, right there. So mark, paste, song goes there, cut that there, V. And then the score is now 42. Forty-two to
missed it. <laughs> I'm just going to call it 54 here. 44. Forty four, twenty nine. <laughs> Space, back it up and cut it there. Q V delete delete. Yeah, it's super weird. So it's gonna be a weird. Score now is Did he score? It looks like he went like this, like, oh man, I missed. I can't believe I missed. I'm gonna make an assumption that he scored it. To 36. Or not. Nope, the refs, refs, the refs' hands did not go up, so. So, possibly. We'll just make, the, make a note of the mark. Extra point. Okay. I had to do another battery change here. And boom. Yellow and okay. And here, cut there. Paste, double click or V. Score is now 44 to 31, 39.
And then they do get the extra point to their 41. And then I guess we scored two tries that I had missed. <laughs> Go back to that. So we'll just do like this. The score here now is. 41 and we have two tries at somewhere in the game also where do not know <laughs> great question Ooh, did someone get a tackle there? Here's Severin here. He's watching the play. He's running to go get him. Makes a tackle there. And that's the game. So, final score 54 31. 41. I missed two battery change outs. I missed two tries during a battery change out. So now we add normal music. that in differently. Right. So that's that song there. We get some disco action going in here.
high intensity training. Let's see that one.
right, so I could fade it in like this. It actually fade in automatically. <laughs> Getting ready is next. Oh wait, I gotta make sure I'm not covering up any points or scores being made. Cause I feel like I did a couple times already. <laughs> undo, 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 undo. And that's good, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right, cool. Did it again. Is getting ready is next. Getting ready. And what I would do then also is once I have a bunch of songs that I've selected, I will then just repeat kind of like. is next go find another song so let's pull one from the other audio track which is not here I had all I thought I had two on here over there but I guess not let's see let's see music country
too slow. So what I did was I brought them all in.
Ace high. Where did what, is this what I put in? Undo. 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 Okay, we're gonna leave. Pull up there. I do need a. I, I need something for over here too, though. How long is pull up? Three minutes and twenty-two seconds. Okay, redo. Put all that back. But I need to organize these because they gotta overlap a little bit, so they transition well. <laughs> See, it's too long of a silence. It's good. And because this is in the middle of a song, like that. Cut it here about Q, and then we'll start the fade here to about here. Three, it's got to go way by here. say pause save copy no copy and let's actually use this what is this the bait put another one over here or do I find a song that's just a three minutes and 30 seconds to close that gap 
because I would like to get that song up in total over here someplace also. What does this sound like? And then fade out here, two, three. This goes down there, and I'll start the fade there. Alright, mixes break pretty well there. That's good. Pause, and so. But yeah, that's the process of. You know, me mixing in the music. Oh, I need, I need, I got a small gap to close here because of that. So let's do this. Same thing. Copy that. We're going to lock these so it doesn't paste into those. Paste it there. Actually, let's do this. Put that there. Close up the end here like this. Q, 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 and then control this here. One, two, three. This goes there like that, like that. And then we gotta fade it in here also. Bring this to here. Save. All right, so. Now, let's just do this. Let's uh, pull Hall in again. Over, now I, I want a longer video. So, you know what I forgot to do, what I usually do? Right click, made a display. Nope, that's not it. Um, nope, that's not it. Um, so this tilde button here on the left top left corner, that will make this panel full screen. Watch, see right here, the tilde button. Oops, select the panel, tilde button, makes it full screen. And what I do like to do is do media duration up front here, along with my resolution. Well, this is audio, so, but uh, that, that, that's basically what I want to show you. <laughs> it makes that panel larger, so I can make this large screen, this one large screen if I want to also, or this one, you know, or this one. That's what that button does, tilde. We're, we're going to get rid of these two things here. Don't need them. Where was I? We're just going to start to reuse some of the music that we've used already because I don't want to find it anymore. I think it's good for the purposes of just keeping the viewer's attention, if you will, you know, when they're watching. Because it is, if it can be a little bit boring, you know, to watch some rugby. <laughs> I mean, it's sports. 
And from a standpoint of, for the, for the, you know, these are mostly for the parents that are watching also, and the players, right, and the coach, I think so. I think it's a happy medium, if you will. But look at that. I, I just, what if I were to put in a different song there that were longer, like this one, did it again. Is that enough? Nope, sure is not. I need it like a three minutes and 30 seconds song. Cue, like this one, pull up. Yeah. Here to here, what is that? Uh, so probably two thirty minute, three minute songs. Okay, let's see. Like, we'll find something new actually this time. <laughs> instrumentals. intensity training I gotta move on <laughs>
that. Go back here. Too soon. That there. Next song can shift E makes it quiet and doesn't engage. So I could do that on a video and you won't see it either. Because I don't want to move it just yet. Control plus sign plus sign there. This goes down there, and this will fade into it here. this song we just need one more song or two or three more songs because we're at 108 we have seven more minutes left of video to put vi music to so let's go to oh I like this song
do a cross dissolve here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm actually much happier with this compared to what I put out last night. So, yes, finished. <laughs> Let's render it. Let's just do a quick look. Make sure I don't have any red gaps in video. And the yellow bar up top there, that looks good there. Good music selections are all there. So this is good. Let's redo this, okay? So, um, export. <laughs> so, when I render a video, I will be doing, I click on export. The file name will be 20240407 Hampton Sydney College versus VCU. So this is actually yesterday's game. So, you know what? I'm gonna use the same file name as yesterday, just with a, like a letter B next to it or something like that. Or final. Caps lock, final, and save. So it's gonna go into the two videos to YouTube. Now check this out, because this is something that's really cool that, uh, at least for, for my process, so going back to my E drive where I save all my videos, I have a folder for videos. Let's do it like this. Folder for videos. So zero one videos, one projects, two videos to YouTube, right? And so these are effectively in order and when they're organized like that, zero one two. So basically the raw videos go into this section here. Then the project folder files go here. So all of this are all of these are all project files. And then uh, YouTube videos to YouTube. This is the actual video that was sent to YouTube. So I started doing it this way because I was, it would be like, where did I put that video? And instead of looking through the folders, I can actually pull it up this way, which I think is a better system organizationally speaking. Working for me right now over the last couple months that I've been doing it that way. So um, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> In fact, in videos, I, I've, in video videos, I've got uh, something for my CyberVol channel also. But um, all right, so that's how I have my stuff organized there. If you wanted to do something or for, for you to look at. H.265 is the format that we're using. And then video. Let's see, match source, so 59.94, more. Square pixels, correct, max depth, max quality, frame sampling is what we want, Every hardware encoding, using the computer to do the thing. And then we scroll down, and then we will basically do make sure that this here, target bitrate, is 120 versus up here. Or com if this is 60, this needs to be 120. And so I can export this and let that start the rendering process. And on that note, I really appreciate all of you for hanging out with me. Whoever's hanging out with me, uh, go ahead, say hello. I would like to know who my five people are that are watching that, to the very end or and such. I appreciate it. Hanging with GD, thank you very much for joining. Michael, appreciate you joining earlier. Vinko Edit, thank you so much. Also, M. Viamore's Life Vlogs. Ray the Gamer Koala. Dusty, thank you. And I think those are all my folks that uh, hung out with me this morning. So appreciate it. I think I'm going to play some Fortnite while this renders for the next hour and 14 minutes because it's going to take overnight for it to actually upload to YouTube. So it's got to get done this evening. But that entire thing took me about, let's see here, what time did we start? Three hours ago. <laughs> Which is not bad because it's a full what hour and change video versus me taking three hours to do a 16 second video video mini short uh, YouTube short but that's because that was the first video that I've done in a while 
But thank you so much for hanging out with me. Oh, one more thing. Let's do the thumbnail. So open up Photoshop. This is how I do a thumbnail. Maybe that's a video for another time. No, I have to do the th thumbnail now. You know why? Because I want a different thumbnail to distinguish this new video compared to the older, the, the other video. So the first video. So let's do this. We're going to pull up the one from last night project, that is. And I did capture another thumbnail that I want to use instead. So it's different for one also. It's another scrum video, but it will be like this. Let's see here b open and then what we do here is this um, we're going to duplicate this layer into the project folder here and then i will control shift t oh, v control shift t nope what's going on here control t Undo, 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 cancel, undo, 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 redo, there. Okay, cool. Now it's letting me adjust it. So we're going to get rid of this here, delete that, delete that, and then delete this, this. What in the world? All right, so let's open up another one. <laughs> No, we're going to keep it. Nope, we're going to open up the other one. Open. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so, because this is the style that I want to do. Duplicate this photo file, duplicate layer into this cancel. We want to create a new one first, actually. So, hmm. Copy. I'm going to do like this. Delete, delete, paste, undo, paste, Where did it go, paste, undo, undo, HSC versus VCU, whoops, caps lock HSC, caps lock HSC versus caps lock VCU, final, 54 to 41. And we're gonna get rid of all this stuff here because we're not using it. Delete, 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 delete. And what else can we delete? We can delete that. We don't need that, 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 that. What's this layer for? Delete. Now we will get this video or this photo, uh, duplicate layer, put that into this PSD. We can actually close this out now also, since we won't be using it. No, this is there, and we'll just shrink this up. This template, if you will, layer, put it down here, is the right size for Is the right size for this for this I think so for YouTube uh, short so what do you think this large like that or do I make it the, the real size like this so you could see that action now I, I like it large enlarged like that I think I thought was I thought that was cool We're missing the top guy there, though, so. Da, 
that's okay. All right, so file, save, um, sure, apply, file, export, export as, and it's got to be less than 20, so it's going to be in a smaller 8-bit file, less than 2 megs, export, and there is our thumbnail. And we're going to call this one final. <laughs> and then we have our thumbnail ready to go for YouTube download later on. But yeah, last thing I wanted to show you guys. All right, appreciate you guys hanging out with me this evening. We could close this up here. I save changes, yes. And then we can also go to Oh wow, I didn't realize it was 10 o'clock already. This is gonna take an hour and 13 minutes. I'm gonna play some Fortnite. But I, let's see, final reminder, crash crib on the curb, no, delete. Minimize, you can close this window, don't need that. Close. Close this, close that, and we're going to call it done, YouTube. <laughs>